why meditation alone doesn't work. What this means is that by itself, it's uncommon for meditation to bring about awakening. People can meditate for years, even decades, and not awaken. This doesn't mean there's something wrong with meditation or you're doing it wrong. It's just that the purpose of meditation is not necessarily awakening. Also, I'm not against meditation. I'm for meditation. I think it's good for you. I recommend doing it. It calms the mind, calms the body, helps regulate the nervous system. It helps ease attachments. It's a valuable practice. But the reason it doesn't directly lead to awakening is important to understand if you're interested in awakening. And that is that without some sort of insight practice, specifically some sort of inquiry, it's quite uncommon to wake up. It does happen, and it happens spontaneously to people, but even in those circumstances, often it comes about by a certain kind of intuitive inquiry that comes about in life. Often this comes about because of a trauma or a life event which destabilizes the ego. So why doesn't meditation wake you up? Well, for one thing, meditation is very relaxing. It's peaceful. It's enjoyable. The ego likes what's relaxing and peaceful and enjoyable. The ego can get a lot out of that. It can get rest. The ego likes to feel good. The ego doesn't want to suffer. You could say there's two things the ego wants. It wants to stop suffering and it wants to survive. The problem is when it comes to awakening, it wants to survive more than it wants to stop suffering. So in most cases, there really has to be some leverage to get under that ego structure. You have to inquire into the nature of self, the nature of identity, or the nature of what you take yourself to be, or the nature of thought, and your relationship to it. Those are typically the entry points for awakening. And it takes a certain kind of stubbornness, alertness to thought, a vigilance to not simply go unconscious during inquiry. This can be done during meditative practice, and it's probably most powerful during meditative practice because the mind and body are calm. So there's less traffic in the mind. When there are less thoughts floating around, it's easier to pick up the trail, which will lead you to the root of identity. So if you like to meditate, that's great. If you like to meditate and you want to wake up, you want to know what more real than real means. You want to experience infinity, not as a momentary experience or a mystical experience, but as this, just how it is. Then pick up inquiry, start digging into your identity structures, find out what you are and discount everything that you're not, which all end up being thoughts, beliefs about yourself, beliefs about time, beliefs about separation, beliefs that thought accurately reflects reality. Once you start undermining these beliefs, you start to feel into something that is altogether beyond the usual ways we experience life through the veil of thought. This is the way to awakening. It really is born of frustration with suffering. It's born of a certain curiosity about who I really am, what's really going on underneath that layer of thoughts that just keeps distracting my attention. Look there, start digging in. Don't stop when you hit a fear barrier, just keep digging. Don't settle for any thought or belief or paradigm, including a thought that says, oh, there's no such thing as awakening, or a thought that says, oh, I've already found awakening. Don't settle for those paradigms. You have to keep going beyond all paradigms to know what's what, to see, feel, and be completely immersed and seamless with what is.